Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, it's going to be for Aquarius. Uh, do you got freaking gummy bears in your hand? No. Fruit snacks. Oh, oh, okay. Here we go again. Oh my goodness. You want spaghettios and meatballs for dinner? Okay. <laughs> nope. What else were you thinking? I don't know. I just know you're not going to eat the pot pie, so. What were you thinking about, like, oh no? No. Fine? Nope. You got homework? Huh? You got homework? No, I'm finished with Okay. Alright, I'll be done this in about 10 15 minutes. I love you. Alright, y'all. Aquarius mid March 2020. I'm going to try this recording. Aquarius! Oh, Sheldon's coming over. Sheldon's coming over to see you guys. For those that are newbies, for those that are my newbies, it's a Taurus. And we got grief. I just did, what did I do? Gemini? Gemini had grief. Did I do Aquarius? No. Not Gemini. Yeah, I did Libra and Gemini. So it was either... It was Gemini. But this is Aquarius, first half of March 2020. So you lost something. But now it's like you're appreciating it. It's either you're sitting in the loss or you're appreciating something. We shall see. Denial. That was at the bottom of Gemini's deck, so you might want to watch Gemini. Aquarius was the first one that came out to in the in the read. But anywho, anywho, you got worry and pride and growth that all wanted to pop out. So you got a whole lot of things going on. You got grief, denial. They're basically, if you're in denial about a situation, they're basically saying you can choose to be aware of it. There seems to be some pride, okay, some worry, but you can either face this or or stay in this energy. It's, it's a lesson, so it's either or. You've either grown or you haven't. You're going to prove it or you're not. You're either going to let pride get in the way or you're not. You're either going to worry or you're going to not worry and, you know, stop stressing. You know, is it is it real? Is it not real? It's, it's that type of energy. And it's, it's a lot of different energy, too. And then grief, you know. So, did I really lose it? Did I not? Aquarius. March 2020. First half of March 2020, please. your soulmate, prayers, affirmations, positivity, that type of situation ship. So you, you are praying for, to me it looks like a second chance to fix something. You got playfulness and honeymoon. So somebody could be at a distance but wanting to recapture a situation. Finances in Korea. So right now you're you're probably working a whole lot. You got reconciliation. So <clears throat> let's see what this deck has to say. I just cut it at the Ten of Swords and the Fool, so I don't know if somebody thinks <clears throat> you know, or you think you're making a foolish decision but you you definitely want something new here that's for sure Aquarius you might travel a lot for work I look at it more as Aquarius um something with your finances so you want someone's forgiveness Queen of Wands is at the bottom of the deck 
that goes hand in hand with Gemini's energy. So there's some type of you're either hoping for clear communication or you're gonna get it. A lot going on, trying to make practical decisions right now. Someone brings out the, the youth in someone, which is nice. So there's somebody you miss. You feel like you made a mistake. God, you got to be dealing with the Gemini. They have like the same energy. Aquarius, please. get a new job okay. four of wands please go watch Aquarius I mean please go watch Gemini all these similar cards came out in a different order so I'm doing the readings a little differently this month I'm just Obviously, you guys have already figured that out. It's not my normal style of reading, but <clears throat> I definitely think you had a distance from somebody. You're definitely attracted to somebody. You definitely want a reconciliation. You want to, you know, you're hoping there's been enough time or growth. I really hope you don't let pride get in the way. Um, tell me about pride real quick. I think that's your biggest, your biggest issue right here. Yeah, five of pence, but moving from that situation, right? So it's like, it's not necessarily that misery loves company. It's like, it's, it's, it's your soulmate. It's like, there's a lot of pride towards this person. So I don't know what that's forgetting. It's almost like you don't want to let them know that you miss them, that you're lonely. You know what I mean? To me, that's not... What that combo could say, lack of money, but I don't see... If anything, I see like there's a new adventure with money. I don't see nothing saying lack of money. That's saying you got too much pride to tell someone you miss them. Come on. Let me just clarify the, before I do this, let me just clarify the finances real quick. Because I don't, it's almost like there's a, tell me about finances. Four of pence. So you're holding on to your coin is what you're doing. But I don't see it being an issue. Maybe you pay child support. Maybe you pay alimony. Maybe you were married. Maybe there was somebody else in the picture. And you're just... You're trying to hold on as, as much as you can. A four is a stable, stable number. <clears throat> One more finances, please. Three of swords reverse. So that, see what I'm saying? It has to do with the lover. What you're dishing out is that type of energy. Okay, Aquarius. <clears throat> Tell me about judgment. So you definitely want someone to forgive you guys. 
No vice versa. They were dealing with some household situation, Gemini was. I'm, I'm trying not to say that to you, but I'm telling you. See, they had the Page of Cups too in the same exact placement as Gemini. This was the first card out when I clarified the Page of Cups or the Princess of Cups, which is the same energy. Out came judgment right next to it with the King of Swords. So it's like the same thing, but the, they were dealing with something with the household. So you got feelings for someone. They didn't go away. Tell me about the Princess of Swords. <clears throat> so this looks like clear communication. Got the Ace of Cups, yeah, see? Nine of Cups together, that's a ten. So a new opportunity. Tell me about the two of pence. This is making practical decisions, balancing out certain situations, grounding a certain situation. Two of wands. So wanting to go in a new direction, trying to make practical decisions and moves. And it's ironic. <laughs> the high priestess came out. This is it's she's coming out as a secret, secret feelings. But to me, it's like a secret decision, a secret move. And they had that same exact energy on this side of the board. Even if you got no Gemini in your chart and you're not cross watching, go watch Gemini. Tell me about the Princess of Pence. Two of Cups. Holy shit. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. So some type of inspiration, some type of movement here. Ace of Swords. Now you got three Aces on the board. Tell me about the Fool. So new opportunity to talk, good conversation, strength, having the, the strength to go after what you want, having a new start. Taking a risk. Leap of faith. Tell me about the tower. Yeah, you're going to talk about it with the eight of wands. It's kind of, it's just going to, it's going to be shocking. Shocking energy. <clears throat> it's like there's a, there's a journey here. Tell me about the queen of wands. The communication is just, is looks smooth. Five of coin, you either miss her or she's missing you. Ace of Pens, Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. Something went down with you guys in the in the past. And then you got the tower again. So something I mean, we knew you already knew this person. There's a need for forgiveness. So I don't quite know what went down, but I will just tell you. I looked down and saw 1313. So let's see the meaning of that because that's an odd one. I don't ever see that one. A strong connection you have with, with the angelic realm staying positive. Your life is about to go through some loving, positive situations with love and positive energies it's an indication from your angels that you're being helped to gain a more positive optimistic outlook helping you empower yourself so you can walk the chosen path empowering yourself to walk a chosen path the confidence it's they're preparing you for a new and exciting ways new opportunities we see three new opportunities with the fool use your talents that you already have steps to your path trust the messages and it just talks about your creativity and that's a given with the ace of wands because you had the ace of wands right here <clears throat> express yourself ace of swords okay so you can go look that up after too so either she misses you or you miss her Tell me about the five of coin. <clears throat> it's like it's like the five of coins over here. It's like you got too much pride right now to confront this situation. Let 
maybe you, you don't want to talk about finances. Maybe you don't want to talk about money. I mean, there's to me, it's it's more of a miss. Okay, so it looks like the, whatever this is will be victorious with the Three of Cups and the Six of Wands and the Ace of Coins at the bottom of the, the deck. See, so it's like... It's it's missing energy. It's like you don't want to tell someone. Because it's like, I don't know if you think it's not real. You got all these damn opportunities. So please make the best of it. Way too many flew out. But clinging to the past. Still some type of Aquarius. Still some type of burden here. I'm surprised it didn't come out. It's it's got to be the lessons, but there's there's been growth. So flowering. So something's button flowering. Ow, shoot. Growing. Got all these new opportunities. You're going to talk about it. Yeah, see, it's like, it's like you're aware, right? And you got completion. So you got to go in and, and fit the puzzle pieces. But it's like, which one was it? The denial. You know, I acknowledge my fear and replace it with the insight of awareness. You're, you're aware. All right, so yeah, it's, it's not really denial anymore. You're definitely aware. You are worried about the income, the outcome. See, damn, you're worried about your income too. I don't see lack of finances. I think you're just trying to hold on to every penny. It's like something about a payout. There's been growth. Courage and rebirth. Okay, don't let fear get the best of you. You had the Gemini Libra had that too. Um, I'm going to pull you guys one of these. I didn't pull them for anybody else, but. This can be resurrected and, and worked on. All these opportunities. It's, it's a heck of a lot of opportunities. You can conversate with each other differently. You can learn to love each other differently. It wouldn't be the way it went down before because this is like a, a rebirth, a forgiveness, that type of stuff. And you got no need to worry. So you got that. You got that twice. Bottom of the deck, you got yes. So I don't know. <clears throat> Tell me what's up with these finances, real quick. I, I just think you're, you're working too much. There's something better. Yeah, see, opportunity that can lead to success in the near future. So I saw that with the fool and with the, the new job. Maybe she's linked to it. You did have the ace of coin. So there's going to be a new opportunity with work, too. You could be overworked with this finances and career, too. So if you're wondering about a new job opportunity, something comes along, you know, it's saying there's take the opportunity, it's going to be successful. Where you're at is making you too tired, stressing you out, things like that. You're definitely holding on to your coin, though. I don't see any reason to worry, though. They stressed it twice. Okay. I love you guys. Have a good one. Bye.